Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. I am the Greybearded Summoner, and welcome back to Fire Emblem Heroes, where today we're going to be reacting to the August 1st, 2024 Faye channel, and that is enough prattling on from me. Let's go ahead and get right in to the video. Oh, hello, Summoners. It's a warm, sunny day in Asker today. Bay Faye! Everyone seems to be enjoying summer to the fullest. Now, if you don't mind, let me just... Ah, that's better. As per usual, I, Faye, am about to deliver all sorts of exciting news to you summoners. So sit back, relax, and get ready for the latest information on the Fire yes. Emblem Heroes game. It's time for... Fate Channel. Let's get started. First up... Ta-da! Fae's Summer Celebration is back again! Fire Emblem Heroes celebrates its seven and a half year anniversary on August 2nd. And I hereby thank you for your continued effort on the battlefield. Now then, let me explain the Summer Celebration. For starters, there will be a login bonus. Log in for 10 days during the active period, and you can receive these rewards. Mm. Fei Fei? That includes summon tickets, too. Next up, some celebratory special maps. These special maps feature the top 40 heroes chosen in the A Hero Rises 2024 event, and we'll be releasing one each day for 10 days during the active period. They will be available on normal and hard difficulties. And if you clear them all on both difficulties, you can earn up to 10 orbs and 10 summon tickets. Faye, isn't this the same ticket I introduced earlier? <gasps> Faye Faye! Now I get it. These are tickets you can use specifically in this summoning event. During this summoning event, you're guaranteed a hero from the four-star special hero special rate pool. Bear in mind, you can only summon once per ticket, but you'll get to welcome a five-star special hero to your barracks. This four-star special hero special rate summoning event is set to start on August 2nd. I'll have to look to see Go what ahead, I have. Go ahead, summon away. Next up, celebratory quests and Aether Raids quests. If you complete these quests during the active period, you can receive the rewards you see here. Ooh, do I see a Forma Soul? I can use that to add a Forma unit as my ally. Ah, and if you collect 500 of these Aether Stones, you can exchange them for a special structure. Okay, that's cute. This time it's yours truly at the beach, so don't forget. Moving on, we've got Grand Hero Battle Revivals and related quests. The Grand Hero Battles you see here will return for two days each. These quests can even get you five-star Grand Heroes, so you might want to give them a shot, even if you've done them before. Next up are okay. celebratory skill focus summoning event revivals. We're bringing back 12 previously held skill focus summoning events. You can summon a focus hero of your choice after summoning 40 times during each summoning event. And last but not least, we have a celebratory hero fest. All right, let's see who it is. Give a warm welcome to our heroes. In red, a tuned hero Triandra! Refrigerator. In blue, Winter Festival Edelgard! In green, uh -oh. duo hero Leon! Uh oh! And the colorless hero will be. Mythic hero Gulveg! Uh oh! Fay <laughs> Fay! Talk about dependable allies! For this hero Crop fest, baskets. the five-star hero initial appearance rate will be set to 8%. Fey Pass subscribers can summon a five-star hero of their choice after summoning 40 times during the event. And they can do that up to four times. Did you think I was finished? 
think again. You also get five first summon tickets to use for this Hero Fest just by logging in once during the active period. Be sure to take advantage of this opportunity to add one of these coveted heroes to your barracks. Well, that's, six out that's of it for Faye's summer celebration. Faye, take a look at all those rewards. So many summon tickets. Ooh, Faye, this darkness makes me feel like quite the night owl. It's so quiet. Faye, what's that sound? Oh, fireworks! We do not want to miss this. Oh, Faye, it's so pretty. Aw, I'm happier than a lark to see so many people dancing and oh, having fun. Oh, are they fun. gonna do another? Let's check out what's going on over here. Faye! Festivals are a blast. I can't help but get caught up in all the excitement. Faye, Faye! It's Micaiah and Alencia. And who is that with them? Yukata are so cute. <sighs> Mia? They make me feel all warm and fuzzy inside. Aw, it's Mia! Radiance. She sounds thrilled to be wearing okay. a yukata for the first time. And look at that giant cotton candy. Oh, is that grilled corn and candied strawberries too? Mm. She looks wonderful, doesn't she? That okay. bright yukata really suits her. I got the type wrong. Thank you for inviting me to the festival. We're going to have fun. Lucia? It's Lucia! She's oh, they gave her a long hair back. Yukata. I wonder if those water balloons are souvenirs for Alincia and Jeffrey. And her wind chime and morning glory decorations are so refreshing. Oh, it's Amelie. Faye! I see Ryoma and Xander here, too. Leo and Takami. <gasps> Just when I thought Xander couldn't get any more handsome. Faye, Faye! It's... Hoshido's summer festival is, as expected, quite different from Norse. I thought it was Leo. He looks so stylish in his yukata, doesn't he? That black is so appropriate for someone from Nor. <laughs> mm. Those tomatoes and cucumbers in his bucket. I just want to swoop right in and... Uh, what? What? Uh, uh, <laughs> I mean... Share them with me later. Oboro picked out this yukata for me. Looks nice, doesn't it? And of course, it's Takumi. Oh, that's adorable. His style is splendid. A white yukata with a blue heart. He has a stuffed oh. corn. Oh, oh and that fox mask is so cute. Wanna bet he won that toy he's holding from a shooting gallery? <laughs> So oh, quiet. here's the duo. Faye, I see some people over there having a good time. I reckon that their outfit looks amazing on you. Alencia and Sakura? I mean, uh, it really suits you. <laughs> you look wonderful too, Nephany. Oh, it's Nephany uh -oh, and Sakura. Okay. Nephany has a fox mask on instead of a helmet. That flower pattern on her yukata really brings out her eyes. Faye, this that, is, are those cherry fun? blossoms on Sakura's yukata? Oh, just perfect. Who's the tempest trial? And it looks like probably they color coordinated it, their water balloons right? too. <laughs> They're really enjoying each other's company. So there is Mia, Lucia, Leo. And harmonized hero Nephany. Takum is the temperature. This trial. group will appear in the special hero summoning event, Timidity Trials. And you can add Takumi to your allies by earning points in the That's cool. Tempest Trials. I, I would have preferred having him anyway. The board looks so festive. I think I'll join in on the fun too. Yeah. Yay! I got a mask! So, how do I look? How is she in festival right. rerun? Up next. Cool. Cool. All 
the info you've been waiting for on the next version update. Hold on to those feathers, and I'll tell you what to look forward to in version 8.8. .8. First up, five maps will be added to the arena. Team composition will be of utmost importance. Next, a tougher difficulty will be added to United Warfront. Previously, the highest difficulty was Infernal. But now you can play on Abyssal difficulty. Foes will be even more dangerous with strength and abilities. Faye, I hope I don't chicken out. Mm. On to less terrifying news. Let's talk about Hero's Journey. Now, it'll be easier to unlock Memento events. You'll only need 10 memory fragments oh. instead of 20 to unlock Memento events. And during each Hero's Journey, you'll be able to use them to unlock a total of six instead of only three. Oh, oh there's gonna be two I'll of be them. able to add so many Memento events to my collection. Interesting. Next up are Legendary and Mythic Hero remixes. The heroes you see here will make their first appearances in the upcoming remixes. Also, Claude and Uller are about to become even more powerful. Let's take a closer look. First, Claude. Sure thing. He'll receive a new skill, Fallen Star 2, which states, When your unit initiates combat, your opponent's speed and defense are reduced and your unit will inflict more damage according to their number of bonus effects and your opponent's number of penalty effects. Plus, he'll also get the skill Guidance 4. Second, Uller. Very well. She'll receive the skill Ingvi Ascendant Plus, which states, your opponent's speed and defense decrease during combat, and you'll neutralize effects that guarantee your foe a follow-up attack or effects that prevent yours. Plus, if you meet the right conditions, it also triggers a potent follow-up. In addition, she'll get the skill Attack Speed Oath 4. Finally, some new heroes will join the Summoning Focus Revivals. These heroes will be added to the weekly revival roster starting on August 11th, which means they will no longer appear as five-star heroes in other summoning events, but will instead appear at the four-star special rate. Hey, Ascended Heroes Fjorm, Legyarn, Joshua, and Edun? That's right! Ascended Heroes will now start appearing! I'd like to summon an Ascended Hero myself. Let's give it a try. <clears throat> Fey! Not... Yet! <laughs> <laughs> I managed to summon a whole 40 times! This is... Oh, what's this? Now, everyone will be able to select a hero to summon after summoning 40 times in each weekly revival, too! This will make it easier to get that hero I've had my eye on. Oh! That'll be nice! Alright, that's it for today! Okay. These announcements sure were lively. Just like the festival. Faye, oh, what is it? What's happening? Oh, I can't wait! Fireworks are about to be launched! <gasps> Maybe I am a night owl after all. <laughs> okay. Well. Oh. Let's go grab the highlight.